Hey everyone, we're here in British Columbia and we're checking out this shipping container studio. It was built with three 20 foot shipping containers by a company named Honeybox. So we're here with Adam to check it out and take a full tour. It's completely off grid, it collects rainwater, it has a composting toilet, solar power, it uses propane for the fridge, the cooking and the hot water, and there's a wood stove for heat. So let's go take a look inside. It's 100% um, off the grid. We've got a modest solar system. So we've got, say, 800 watts of solar panels. This house is just about the concept of building with containers and uh, how you can do it. And there's an infinite way of building with containers. So this is a little half container, 10 footer. The mechanical room is just like, say the bilge of a boat. So it's got all your batteries and your things like your voltage controller. Composting toilet, uh, Sunmar, this one is. It's a production toilet. It's kind of their basic, basic unit. Um, 12 volt pump. Water tank, doesn't necessarily have to be in here, but we just kind of kept it in here um, to protect it from the winter and uh, fill that up and then live off of that. And that can be either rain, water, or from the well. There's a clamps that clamp the containers together, so that leaves a three inch space in between. And then if you were to see up top, you'd see like a mechanical gutter made out of aluminum. So the water rolls into that gutter and then goes to either end. And then there's like a little um, a catch there with a flexi pipe that comes down. And then that goes into a, a tank. Cool. Yeah. Right and on a rainy, if you had like three days of heavy rain here, you can fill up a 1200 gallon tank. But we just kind of carry in our drinking water just because the water in the well is ferrous and the rainwater. I'm kind of a little bit worried about, I know there's a bit of treated lumber up top. So you use the well water and the rainwater for your shower yeah. and the sink, but this is drinking water? Yeah. Okay. This container house is, is uh, very mobile. It's made to come apart and go back together within you know three to four hours. This is a half block. It weighs about, uh, still weighs about 2,500 pounds. Um, bolted on that, it's just a plate. This is a base foundation. You'll find those on container ships. They'll be welded to the, the floor. And then in between is a twist lock. So the twist lock locks the container onto the, onto the ship. Corner fittings on containers are really the key. This is where all the loads are transferred. Um, so taking advantage of the strength of these containers, they're clamped together. Um, this container on the outside is not supported. Only the center container is supported on this. And these are what's called lashing rods. And lashing rods, you'll find them on the container ships. They've got um, ends that lock into the corner fittings and super big heavy turnbuckles. I think what I like about shipping containers is just that they're it seems simple. Like I say, like the starting container is a box, it's steel, it's got structure, it's got everything besides warmth. And then changing that so you can live in it. If you think about the space on the inside, it can be anything you want it to be. I just like the look of them. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed checking out the shipping container studio with us. If you want to learn more about Honeybox, we'll put a link to the website down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to see more like this.